Hey, Chris Cantelmo here with another vibration. So this video goes out to all of you who have had the DMT experience and are, are afraid to talk about it because it sounds so outlandish. And maybe you did tell a few people and they said, oh, hey, you're great. We think you're crazy. Please don't do that again. Like we're really worried about your mental health. So then you, you stop talking about it. Maybe you never told anyone, but you saw all these things. And, and you thought, oh, maybe, maybe, like, am I imagining these things? So I'm here, like, and so, so people have wanted uh, Terrence McKenna and Joe Rogan, people who spoke most about DMT before me, who are waiting for a scientist to come along and do DMT and then explain what the hell was going on. So that's, that's me. So people keep saying, well, why do you keep bragging about having gone to Yale? I'm not bragging, but, but not everyone who has seen, not, not everyone has seen every one of my videos. So for, for those of you out there in the DMT community who were trying to figure this stuff out from a scientific point of view, which is only one of the ways that, that you wanna, we wanna interact with this compound, I'm that guy. So, um, so, so those of you who were um, thinking that you were imagining those incredible visions of uh, entities, you weren't. You weren't imagining them. So I understand people's hesitation to come out and say, hey, I've... I'm, I think there actually are aliens out there because when you do them, like you see these things, but you know you don't want to get locked up in a, in a you don't want people with with uh, the put you in a straitjacket and take you off to a, the loony bin. I understand that. So if there. <laughs> I was valedictorian in my high school class. I had straight A's all through everything. Went to Yale. I have a degree in molecular biophysics and biochemistry. I'm a scientist. I love organic chemistry and biochemistry. In, at Yale in uh, uh, organic chem, I think it was called 220. There were three exams and then the final. On, and there were like 200 and something people in the, in the class. On two of the exams, I got the highest grade in the class. I used the final. I'm not bragging. I'm just, I'm just giving you my bona fides, bona fides. If people are looking for a scientific understanding of that, it has arrived. So now, now what, what, what's going to, I, I, and it's important. I felt, well, first of all, the experience is so overwhelming. You have to, you have to scream out like, holy crap. I can't believe. You know, Joe Rogan and Terrence McKenna said amazing things about DMT. And I can't believe they were so restrained. Like, are you kidding me? You're going to sit back and not run out in the streets and tell people, hey, you got to do, you're not going to believe what happens. So uh, what happened to me was, I, and I said this before, basically all my friends and, and my family just think I'm crazy and so they don't so and apparently the way that that friends and family believe that you should deal with someone who's crazy is to isolate them and not talk to them which is just crazy so for those of you and it's gonna happen one by one by one as you start to do DMT you're gonna say holy crap Chris was right Terrence McKenna was right Joe Rogan was right there are there are these alien entities out there and there are also these spirits that you can see they're flying all around one by one, you're all going to come out and say, holy crap, he's right. So don't, and, pe and, and your friends and family might say, hey, no, we think you're crazy. Don't worry about them. They're, they'll learn. When they do it, they will see the same things. 100% of the people who experience DMT outdoors with their eyes open report the same thing. That doesn't happen very often. That, you, you can't get two people to agree on, on almost anything, much as 100% of them. So be brave out there, guys. It's time to, to those of you who, who have had these experiences and kept it to yourselves, step up now. 
come forward, make videos, tell your friends, hey, you know what? This guy is, he's, he's not some stoner. Like I, I've, I've done plenty of mushrooms and I did LSD when I, was, when I was a younger person back, it's been about, I don't know, 20 years maybe since I did LSD last. And those were, mushrooms and LSD, those are very fascinating substances. But completely, DMT is a whole nother ball game. So be brave. Don't listen to people who aren't scientists, who, who you know, are telling you, well, you know, that's not, that's not really happening. You're not really seeing those things. You are. Well, how come no scientists are saying it? A scientist saying it, me. It's real. Be brave. Come out of the shadows. Start talking about it to other people. It's not that hard to do. Just take some bravery. I guess it is hard to be brave. And, and uh, you know, I'll, like I'm the sacrificial lamb, the first guy to come out. And uh, I don't even know what to, how to even say it. I don't want to, I don't want to say, I don't want to think people, people think that I'm like, you know, oh, woe is me all the time. But I don't want to happen to you what happened to me, where everyone, everyone around you turns on you, tells you that you're, you're dumb or you're an idiot or you're imagining this stuff. And those of you who have any, anyone in your family who's uh, schizophrenic, suffers from schizophrenia, I'm not yet sure how to, because uh, the way the schizophrenia is natural DMT levels being basically too high, I'm going to say too high, in, in people's heads for them to function in everyday, function comfortably in everyday reality. So until we figure out how to moderate DMT levels so that they can function, they have the optimum level in their head where they can exist in this beautiful state of being and be, you know, quote unquote, functional members of society. The first thing you do is you stop telling them that what they're seeing isn't there. You acknowledge that, you know what, what you're seeing is there. And, you know, we quote unquote normal people in everyday serotonin mediated existence, we can't see what the schizophrenics are saying, seeing, but they can, and it's real and it's there. So you say, acknowledge what they're seeing is real and that you're there to help them and, and, and be supportive of them. But 99% of the horribleness associated with schizophrenia is people telling schizophrenics that what they're seeing isn't true, isn't real. Because I know the horribleness because my friends and family did the same thing to me. Hey, what you're seeing isn't real. Hey, you're dumb. Hey, you, you've got a problem. That hurts. We all have feelings. I'm, I'm a, I've, I've, my, thick, my skin has gotten real thick in the past year. People come up and criticize me now. I just tell them to go fuck themselves. I don't give a damn. But I have feelings too. And schizophrenics have feelings too. And, and, and to keep telling them, well, you're, you've got a real problem and you're imagining things and you're delusional. No, that's not the case at all. They're not imagining anything. So be nice to take a schizophrenic out to lunch. Acknowledge, hey, you know what? It, it, I'm sorry that I doubted you that what you were saying was true. It's time to start apologizing to people. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm reminded of uh, Timothy Leary when he was a uh, professor at Harvard. A, uh, you know, kind of this uh, whiz kid in the, in the psychiatric world, psychological world. Timothy Leary was, was a uh, mover and shaker. And then he, he uh, discovered, had an experience with uh, psilocybin and then LSD and Boom, he was like, okay, this is a whole different thing. And his famous quote of his is, this is way more important than Harvard. And uh, he got run out of Harvard, he got fired from Harvard, and, and uh, then the law, he started speaking out against the uh, Vietnam War, and uh, he got marginalized, and they put him in jail for possession of marijuana, and uh, basically tried to ruin his life. When, when all Timothy Leary was saying was, hey, he was trying to get people's attention, hey, this is really, really important. This is not what you think it is. Take it seriously. 
and people marginalized him and told him, you know, what, it, what an idiot he was. So, so those of you out there who, who have had these experiences and are afraid to come talk about it, don't be afraid anymore. Because now the smartest members of our society, including all of you, you guys are just as smart as anybody else. Don't, don't let anybody tell you that because you're having these experiences, you're somehow not able to understand the big picture because you can actually understand more. You have the bigger picture. Be brave, come out. I'm with you. We're all gonna be together talking about the truth that gets revealed with DMT. Sorry if this was a little rambling. I get, I get uh, very emotional when I start uh, talking about the way people have reacted to what, what, what can only be described as the most beautiful message ever. That there's a, uh, our bodies are 100% chemicals. And then the chemicals align themselves in such a way, right, that it create. then you, you get out of that, you get consciousness. So there's a chemical out there that's made by our bodies, DMT. And when you, for, for whatever reason, modern society, the Western world, certainly, our natural DMT production gets cut off at, at uh, puberty. In the old days, I think it used to come back at, in, 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 uh, as the sex hormones go, uh, get reduced when, when we get older. DMT production comes back, but for some reason it doesn't seem to be happening much anymore. There's certainly in ancient times, where, you know, in the, in the uh, old, old days, no one questioned the existence of, of uh, spirits and God. Like a, there was like 100% buy-in. And it wasn't because people just were, were dumber. It's just, they could see the spirits. They could see the, they they would cons, they would consult the spirits about things because the spirits were there. So uh, uh, I, I should probably make a, 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 another whole video about this. But the uh, I just lost my train of thought. Um, like I, I want to to. Um, Oh, I can't remember what it was I wanted to say now. It's something really important, though. Um, anyway, so the, the main message of this video is you guys who have been hesitant to talk about these incredible visions because you think they're not real. They're real. Please start talking about it. Chris Cantelmo here with another Daily Vibration.